morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due, due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. 
the semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or, or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with. Man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Try hitting Control Alt Delete. Quit looking over my shoulder, you're making me uncomfortable. Freeman, please. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. 
but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. Good morning, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. Dr. Horn, but here's something please to think call about for the next residue time. observation tank four. Air sots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. How is the debugging procedure coming along? Yes? Morning, champ. Hello. Can you access the mail server? Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? At least try to maintain decorum, Freeman. Please. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. A 
I don't think I've ever actually seen you perform any work at all. Freeman, please. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Doctor, Vavilov. Report to Anomalous Materials Test Lab immediately. Are you running those tunneling lattice calculations again? Ah, Gordon Freeman. I leave that shutdown procedure chart. I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing day, Freeman?
hello, Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Huh? 
Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Oh, right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long. Okay. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-stop. 